If you were trying to lose weight, you might think that things like pizzas, burgers and chocolates are off the menu, but our next guest says they don't have to be. Well, nutritionist Graham Tomlinson claims that you can still eat your favourite foods and lose weight at the same time, and he joins us now to share his advice. But it all good sounds morning. too good morning. to be true. It does, it does. Um, you say this is all about calorie deficit. What's that? So a calorie deficit is essentially when you consume fewer calories than you, than you use per day. And a uh, calorie surplus is the exact opposite. It's the only scientific way that you can lose weight. With all the diets that you see out there, whether it be low carb or keto or intermittent fasting, they all require a calorie deficit to work. Right, OK. So your book, your plan says eating what you like when you like. I mean, if I did that, I'd be in all sorts of trouble. How come you can do it in your book? Yeah, so obviously you need to have a little bit of uh, something there t so you understand what you're eating and when. Mm. Um, but basically, you can eat what you like and still lose weight, as long as you're in a calorie deficit. So is there, is there exercise in, in, included in all of this? Uh, that helps with the calorie deficit. So if you think exercise is your energy expenditure, mm. so if you exercise, you're going to burn calories, so that's going to help again. But if you're a lazy person, if you're a couch potato, um, and, uh, and you think, oh, you know, I, I, I just have, uh, I have my burger, um, and you're not actually burning anything off, uh, in, a, in a normal life, how many calories just walking up and down the stairs or going into the kitchen to make a cup of tea would you actually burn off? Less. So, obviously, the less you move, the less you can eat. Right. That makes sense. It's all about what you call a balance of energy. So, you've got some examples here because, I mean, obviously, you think, well, junk food makes you put on weight, but if you look at the calorie content of, say, something you think of as sort of a treat food and something you think of as a healthier option, sometimes it can be quite deceiving. So, if you look at the sort of yogurt bar versus the Kit Kat there. Yeah, so if we compare these two, the yogurt bar has got things like nuts in there, whereas the Kit Kat doesn't have much nutritional doesn't value. It? I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> Eat what you like, there we go. <laughs> no, no nuts in there. Hangover <laughs> cure. Um, so, yeah, we have to basically separate and understand that calories <laughs> determine your body weight and nutrients will help your health. So you have to get the best of both. <laughs> but the Kit Kat is fewer in calories much in than the Eat Natural Bar. Put too much in there. Now. And I'm just smiling, I can't get it down. <laughs> What about, so what about the, where, where did we get to? So, um, smoothie and the sorry. Yeah, so the Coca-Cola obviously is not, seems very healthy, whereas a smoothie is. Mm. And again, it's that idea of the smoothie will have a lot of nutrients in there, but it's actually, for these measurements, higher in calories than the Coca-Cola. So therefore, the better weight loss option here is the Coca-Cola. Okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Graham, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he hadn't heard a word he said. <laughs> oh my god! Can I right. get you a Big Mac? You have to, yes, you like you have to come back another day when we're a bit more sensible. <laughs> okay. um, so, so bacon and egg on toast and uh, avocado let, on let's, toast. Should we go with this one? Oh, burgers, go on then. Yeah, burgers so, and biscuits. Yeah. So chocolate digestive. You imagine just nibbling away each day, having three of them. Mm. Yeah. Per month, that could that could equate to ten Big Macs. So it's like a Big Mac every three days. So oh, it's wow. interesting just to see how that seems in your mind, isn't it? Because you think if you eat a Big Mac, you're going to be unhealthy or yep. put on weight, but it's actually the same. So out of the two of this, this is sort of that trendy breakfast that everybody's yep. having here, smashed avocado. What's the... Well, again, it's about the calorie value. Yeah. The, the avocado has got nutrients in there and fibre, so mm -hmm. it's going to be beneficial for overall health, but it's higher in calories, which again will influence your body weight more. But you just said it there, overall health. Yeah, and so, isn't that the bigger picture that well, really we should be looking at? Dr Sarah, our Dr Sarah says, if your only aim is to lose weight, then you can follow Graham's plan and eat as many crisps and, uh, as you want. But in terms of longevity, where physical health and mortality rates are concerned, we know a Mediterranean diet where you eat plenty of fruit, veg and nuts and avoid processed food and sugar is best. The quality of the food you put into your body is just as important as the quantity. And this plan is not sustainable long term. What's the point in being skinny if you're unhealthy? Well, this isn't... I don't necessarily have a plan. I just want people to understand the difference between calories determining your body weight and nutrients determining your functional health. The idea is that you have both of them in unison to have the, the most optimal diet. Mm. But my point is that a lot of people demonise these so-called unhealthy foods when actually they can find a place for them if they just understand what's in them and, and the read the nutrition size. labels and the portion size, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Graham. Listen, would you Thank please you. come back another please day? Please come back. Yes. And, uh, come back we'll, when we're we'll on. Congratulations for last night as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's never good to be booked on this show <laughs> after, after that, uh, that event. <laughs> but I will mention your book yes. once more to make up for it. And there you go. This is a really is. brilliant book. Look at that.